Hey, well, this is uh, Mark here, and I've got uh, Brother Robert here on the other line here. And we were just talking yesterday about the situation that we're in right now with regards to the virus going around. And it has some implications here. And some of us here in the Northwest are kind of staying by their stuff. We're starting to put it by our houses right now. And, and when I was talking with Robert, he brought up an interesting thing. It's one of the plagues that the children of Israel were, were, were in Egypt at this point, and there was something there that is kind of applicable. So I asked Robert to join me for just a moment here. And so, Robert, could you just go ahead and, and kind of take just a few minutes and, and go back over that one plague? Um, it's the ninth plague, and, and, and kind of relate that to where we are today. Well, it's the uh, Exodus chapter 10. And I'm going to read from verse 21. It says, The Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven. And there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another. Neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. And then we'll just turn over um, to uh, chapter 12. Just hold our place there, chapter 10. And we'll read verse 40 of chapter 12. Now the sojourners of the children of Israel who dwelt in Egypt was 430 years. And it came to pass at the end of 430 years, even the selfsame day came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. It is a night to be much observed unto the Lord for bringing them out from the land of Egypt. This is that night of the Lord to be observed in, of all, all the children of Israel in their generations. Well, we have a situation, as you said, with the coronavirus that people are isolated in their homes and social distancing and so on. And, uh, it's remarkable to me that the darkness that was felt, the darkness that the plague of darkness that the Lord allowed in the land of Egypt was just before the children of Israel were removed from Egypt. They knew what it was to have the Passover lamb and the redemption of their um, flocks and herds and the whole of the people were redeemed with that blood and they passed over the Red Sea and entered into the wilderness on their way to the promised land. Well, you and I are on the way to the promised land, so to speak. We're going to be in the Father's house very shortly. But it's quite remarkable. There was a place, there was a transition going on. And those plagues were a time of transition. The Lord was speaking to this world. And he was speaking to Pharaoh and to Pharaoh's servants. And they were given opportunity, a warning that judgment was coming severe judgment and it's in the ways of God that he allows us to see that there is a transition for instance with Joshua Joshua and the children of Israel they went across and um, went up to Jericho and there was seven days there was a transition going on seven days they circled the city and um, then judgment fell Noah was building the ark for 120 years there was a transition going on the gospel of the mercy of god was being preached and uh, that fire and judgment was coming their judgment was coming the rain was going to come and so now we have this situation with coronavirus we're sequestered in our homes we're asked not to go out in public and the difference here is that there's moral and spiritual darkness in the homes of those that are living in this world, in the Western Christian world, where there was a great amount of light in connection with Christianity. And people are sitting in their homes, not able to go to the ball games, not able to go to the public events that they have so often enjoyed, and not able to go to the supermarket and eat as much as they want to eat and to the restaurants and to live the high life they're sequestered they're isolated in their homes but you and i who are isolated in our homes we have light in our dwellings 
And so it says in verse 23 of Exodus chapter 10, they saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. You and I see one another, and we can converse with one another. We can enjoy the things of God together, and we can walk in the light of God's word and the countenance of God's approval and favor as we await his coming. So the coming of the Lord is drawing very, very near, and I think we need to realize that we're in a time of transition. The Lord is allowing us to see that judgment is about to fall, and this is something of um, how he's shaking this world and preparing and allowing us to loosen our tent peg so that we're ready to march. And as I say, this ninth plague was just before the children of Israel left Egypt. So we're just about to go to be with the Lord. I'm sure that the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. I don't know if you have anything you want to add to that, Mark. No, that's beautiful, and it just it reminds me that maybe in a follow-up uh, broadcast, um, maybe next week or so, I'd like to take up the Passover in a brief way in the same vein of things, too, because it did strike me the fact that both of these plagues, the ninth plague and the last and the tenth plague, both had people in their dwellings, the, the Israelites, the Hebrews were in their, in their dwellings, but it was affecting all of the land. But we read there in the ninth plague with that darkness, they had light in their dwellings, as you mentioned. And then in the tenth, cha or in the tenth plague, why, why the Hebrews were feasting. And so beautiful to see in both of those last two, just before they leave, like you said, they're in their homes together. While everything's raging around, they're in their homes together. Um, and I think that's a beautiful thing. So I love it. So uh, thank you again for bringing that up last yesterday and, and, and kind of dwelling on it today on that, that plague of darkness. And I look forward to, um, I would like to take this, uh, this 10th one up in the, in the Passover in that same vein of things, because I think, as I said yesterday, this is a new way of life um, for a period of time that there is going to be less social interaction is what they're saying. And so we're going to have our families together. And we're going to have quiet times together, and I think it's a tremendous opportunity. But like you said, we're right around the corner. So anyway, with that, we'll sign off for today, and then we'll catch up um, on the next one next time.